should you run out right now and grab yourself a DJI Neo. So the thing that makes this drone really special is you can use it exclusively on its own without a controller. But then you also have the option to use a controller. You can also fly it in FPV. And on top of that, you can control it exclusively with your voice. And I think this could be ideal for a lot of different people. I feel like this bridges the gap between the beginner and the pro market. What's going on guys? My name is Dan Davis and I'm the course creator here on the Fearless Drone Academy, which is the ultimate online drone course for beginners and Australia's number one ranked drone course. So in today's video, I've got my my review of the DJI Neo. And the thing that's amazing about this is it weighs 135 grams. So if we talk about the camera firstly, it is a half inch sensor. It can capture 4K up to 30 frames per second. Keep in mind that it's not the crispiest 4K in the world. It is a little bit flat. It is a little bit grainy at times. It still looks great and it still does the job for most people. But keep in mind, it's not the cleanest 4K camera that you would have ever seen. Now it does stabilize your footage and it does have rock steady and horizon steady. And and the footage looks stable in most scenarios. But keep in mind, I've noticed that when you angle down the camera, it can be a bit shaky. When there's a lot of wind, it can also be a little shaky. So keep in mind that the drone can only handle level four winds, which is just over 28 kilometer winds. So today, for example, there were gusts of 30 kilometers. The drone was flying all over the place. It could still handle it, but you've got to keep that in mind. If you're looking for a professional camera ready drone that's going to take your cinema game, your, your content creation game to the next level, this is not the drone, but the footage is definitely passable. And then you also have 12 megapixel stills as well that you can capture with this guy. The other really exciting news guys is that I do have two Facebook groups for the DJI Neo. So I have an Australian specific Facebook group and then a worldwide group. So if you're based in Australia, join both of them. If you're based internationally, make sure to join that worldwide DJI Neo owners group. There'll be a bunch of giveaways, events, and all sorts of fun things happening on those pages. It does have pretty decent battery life for such a small drone. You have to keep in mind 135 grams. From the tests I've done, I'm getting about 14 minutes consistently, like from the point of launching to the point that it physically just lands, it can't keep going anymore. I'm getting about 14 minutes with the Neo. We do have the option to purely use it without a controller. So we can power it on here, there's a power button, and then there's a mode button. So the mode button can go between all the different modes that are available, and you have a profile mode as well. So through the app, there's a few additional modes that you can enable. So whatever's enabled under that profile mode will be the profile mode on here. So you can get away with flying this exclusively without using the app, but going into the app gives you some more control. So you can have manual control over your flight. You can also use your phone as a microphone. And then through the app, you can change a bunch of different settings, including the height and distance that the drone's gonna follow you from, as well as choosing those different modes. Keep in mind, there's also a brand new voice control feature. What's really cool about the voice control feature is you can use the app on your phone and you can literally talk to the drone. You say, hey fly, and you give it a command. You tell it, I want droney six meters. So it's gonna do a droney maneuver six meters. But you can put it in follow mode. You can go, hey fly, follow. It'll start following you. And then mid following, it's recording at this point. And you can see everything through the app. It's tracking me, it's following me. I can also use the phone as a microphone and I can say, hey fly further. And it will just fly a little bit further away. Or I can say closer and it will come a little closer. Or I can say higher, lower, and it will go up and down. So you have a bunch of control there and it's really cool to be able to control the drone with your voice. It also gives you a little bit more functionality on the fly. So so instead of having to worry about fiddling around, I can change the distance and the height that the drone's following me from. Meanwhile, it's still recording the, the audio from the microphone and it's still following me without skipping a beat. So if you are interested in getting yourself the DJI Neo, then I will have some links below. So make sure to check them out. If you're based in Australia, I have some exclusive deals for my Aussie audience. Go to DJI Australia, which is d1store.com.au. Use the code DANSTUBE and you can save on most drones, cameras, and accessories over there. And for my international viewers, I will have some other links below to get some awesome deals on the Neo. So then on top of that, you can get controllers for the Neo. So I've got the RCN3. It gives me OcuSync 4, so I can get kilometers of range from this guy, which is kind of impressive for such a small unit. Keep in mind, again, 14 minutes of battery life, so you wanna still keep it really close. And the wind rating of level four, you don't wanna fly too far away, and you wanna keep in mind the wind conditions in your area. The other thing to be aware of, it does have active track. So when I've got the controller and the app set up, I can draw a box around myself, for example, and it 
it will start tracking me in active track mode. So I can go to spotlight, point of interest and active track. The active track only works on people though. You can't track vehicles or boats. And then from there, you can use this drone in full FPV mode. So I've done it with the RC Motion 3, which is a lot of fun. And then I've progressed to the FPV Remote Controller 3, which means that I'm in full manual mode when I've got it all set up and it's fully flying in acro or manual mode, whatever you want to call it. I can do flips and rolls and all sorts of things. So this drone really goes from the beginner friendly, which is just using it without a controller, pressing the button, letting it do its thing, to the advanced where you can fly this thing in full FPV mode. Now, the other thing I love about the Fly More combo, so the Fly More combo comes with the controller, the drone, and the battery hub. So you get the three batteries in here. Would have been nice to have seen a bag, but it just comes with those and a few other accessories. But the thing that's cool about the hub, right, I can plug this into a power bank and it will charge all three batteries at the same time. Now, this is big because a lot of other drones from DJI, they will only let you charge one battery, then go to the next one. So you're very unlikely to be able to fly, come back into the car, charge the three batteries, and then go to a new location and fly. You're probably only gonna have one battery that's still not even fully charged before you get there. Where I found these guys charge really fast, and I was able to jump from location to location on the same day, and it was just keeping the charge flowing. So really cool stuff. Get yourself a power bank, and you have got almost unlimited battery life for this guy. In terms of the quick shot modes that are available, there are a bunch of different modes. You get the follow mode, you get droney, circle, rocket, spotlight, and then you get the custom option, which gives you the three options. That's what I was talking about with the profile option, but they call it custom. You get direction track, helix, and boomerang. And they all work regardless of what method you're going with. You can get all sorts of quick shot modes available to you. The other thing that's quite interesting is you can use the DJI Fly app to actually access manual control. So if you just get the drone on its own without a controller, you can still fly it in a manual type mode. So they call it manual controls. You can control it from your phone, but the limitation of that is you only get about 30 meters of range. So it's more so if you just want to fly it up a little bit and angle down and have a static shot, you can do that pretty easily. And it's just going to come back down to you whenever you're ready. But if you get yourself just the drone without the controller, which will be the giveaway offering that we're doing on our website on fearlessdrone.academy, then that's a handy feature to have. It just adds an extra layer of fun to your footage. This is ideal for pros who want to get into FPV. Maybe they don't want to spend a heap of money. This is very cool. It's the Avata Mini, I guess you would call it. So full FPV, there's no limitations with that. I can do rolls, I can do flips, I can do all sorts of things with it. But then as a beginner, someone who's never owned a drone before, you can just hold it out like that, launch it, and it will just follow you. You don't have to, have to think about it, right? So this is ideal for all sorts of people. And I think a lot of people are going to enter the drone world because of this drone. So that's why I mentioned a little earlier, Definitely check out those two Facebook groups. If you're based in Australia, check out both. If you're based internationally, just check out the international one, the worldwide one. There's gonna be some cool stuff over there and I can't wait to see what people have captured with this drone. Some huge exciting news for my audience. I am giving away a brand new DJI Neo to one lucky person. Now, to go into the draw to win, yourself a Neo, basically follow the link below. It will take you through to the Fearless Drone Academy, which is the ultimate online drone course for beginners. If you sign up using that code, which is Neo 50, you'll save 50% off the course. So the drone course will be under a hundred Australian dollars, and then you'll go into the draw to win yourself the Neo. Now keep in mind that this is your best chance to win a drone on this channel. Normally when I host giveaways, there are thousands of entries, but for this one, you have to sign up to the drone course. So that means that the pool is going to be a lot smaller. There might only be 10 people that sign up, meaning that you have a one in 10 chance of winning yourself a drone. And if you don't need the course, for example, a perfect gift for a loved one, a relative, whoever it may be, a friend, someone that's about to get a drone or got a drone, get them that as a gift. And then you go in the draw to win yourself a brand new drone. So my final thoughts is that this is a great price point for a drone. It's very versatile. It's got decent battery life on it for what it is, for the size of it. Got a decent camera. So it's not the best camera. It's a little bit flat at times in the sense that it's just, there's not a huge amount of dynamic range. It's not the crispiest video you've ever seen, but it passes. It does an awesome job for socials. And then on top of that, you get the 14 minutes of flight time. Again, not amazing if we compare it to other DJI drones, but for what it is, for what it's trying to be, that's ample, especially if you've got the three batteries. And then there's all those exciting modes. You've got all sorts of ways to control this and it's a blast. I really do love the Neo. They've done a great job here. And I think it's going to be an extremely popular drone. So. Definitely check all those links that I mentioned in the video description and I'll chat to you in the next one. Peace.